Today we're doing beet and cannellini bean salad. Now, there's a couple of things about this in the, just in the title. Beets we usually think of as red, or we most often think of them as a deep red purple. Uh, however, that's not the only color they come in, and it may not be the only color you're growing. If you have a golden beet, which would be beautiful in this salad, you need to change the kind of bean. So instead of using a cannellini bean, which is going to contrast well against a red beet, uh, maybe a, a black bean or a red kidney bean so that you get the dramatic uh, differences there. It's really fairly easy. You could actually do this with canned beets, although it won't be as good. But start with about a pound of beets. Uh, these are a little bit smaller. The recipe says two to three, but uh, you, you, just when you remove things, it, it should be, be about a pound. Okay, now when you cook the beet, what you want to do is try and save the color in it, no matter which beet you're using, what color beet you're using. So leave about an inch to an inch and a half of uh, the stem on here, and, and that will reduce the amount of bleed you get from the beet itself. And then look at the other end of it as well, and you want to do the same thing on the root end. So you're going to want to cut it about here, uh, and that will you'll still have a lot of bleed on a red beet, but it won't be as dramatic as if you cut the beets and, and went ahead. Scrub them at that point, but don't peel them uh, because that again will enable more of the, of the pigment to come out. And it's pigment is not just color. There's also some phytochemicals in there. So you want to keep as much of that in the beet as you can. Uh, and then you're going to uh, have a variety of methods. You can bake them, you can steam them, you can boil them. Uh, if you boil them, they'll probably, depending on the size, take uh, up to 30 minutes until you can insert a paring knife or a fork in easily, then, then you're golden. Let them cool. Uh, and then when they're cool enough to handle, then it, they're easy to peel. You can just rub it off. Uh, however, I suggest a pair of gloves when you do do that. Otherwise, you're going to find out that your hands are going to let everybody know for a week that you work with beets. So a pair of gloves at that point are, it will be a definite good idea. Once you get to that stage, then you're ready to proceed. I went ahead and cut these up. I ended up with oh, probably two and a half to three cups of beets with the amount that I used. We're going to make a dressing to go with those. Uh, and what I have for the dressing is uh, two tablespoons of cider vinegar a teaspoon of, uh, a tablespoon, excuse me, of Dijon mustard. And this is going to act as the emulsifier in this one. It's just basically vinegar and oil. So you want to make sure that you have enough of that. Don't try to, to short change yourself on that. Uh, to mellow things out a little bit, I've got a half a teaspoon of sugar and a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, a fourth of a cup of olive oil and make sure because this is a dressing make sure that it's a, a nice tasting olive oil extra virgin one of the the better ones at, the, at your market or that you can have uh, and then a half a teaspoon of black pepper I'm just going to whisk those together again this goes together really really quickly once you get the beets cooked once the the cooking is done and that's not something that's a lot of hands-on that's just uh, it's going to take a little bit of time and you can make the dressing up ahead of time this salad uh, like many of them where you have sort of a marinade going on it it's going to taste better if it has some time to sit so that that marinade flavor has time to uh, blend into uh, the uh, vegetable itself then I'm using canned cannellini beans. You could use, uh, again, any kind of bean you, you want. You just want something that will give you a little bit of contrast to it. And gently stir, because uh, I'm using canned beans, but whether they're canned or not, uh, they're going to break up fairly easily once they're cooked. So gently stir that together, and then pour your dressing over. And I use all of the dressing. You may want to save some of it up, uh, but I want it to get in and marinate the vegetable. I'd rather serve it with a slotted spoon and uh, reduce the amount per serving later than to not have as much interacting with the vegetables in this salad as possible. This is basically it. I have a uh, plate of spinach here or a platter. We're just going to put this on here. You could do this with individual servings rather than the, the uh, entire thing like I'm doing here as well. Get all the beets, they're my favorite part to be honest. This is a main course kind of salad. So it, it's going to have a, a bit more calorie content and so on than many of the other salads that we have. Uh, however, remember that because it has the beans and so on, it, it can serve as your main course or as a lunch. I'm going to put a few toasted pecans. You could use walnuts or almonds, whichever you have handy, over the top of that. And then to 
really boost the flavor and make it special, I've got some crumbled blue cheese and that's going to go over the top of it, uh, of it as well. It's really easy to do. It's great in the spring when your beets are fresh, but you can do it later on in the winter when uh, you need to use some canned ones too. Uh, I hope you'll give it a try. It's beet and cannellini bean salad. For Oklahoma Gardening, I'm Barbara Brown. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.